It will take a while to get good with all the grinders. If you haven't already, join the Vox Machina Discord and learn from some seasoned vets. In this guide, I'll tell you some secrets the community shared with me. But first, some important survival tips. Grinders are covered in armor plates and only take lethal damage when hitting their black chassis or cockpit. Thus, always aim for these spots when fighting and try to turn your body and hide your own exposed parts. Also, although all grinders fly differently, in general, save at least one bar of fuel for safe landings. All right, the hopper is my favorite grinder and one of the best to learn the game with. It runs fast and has the best vertical jets. That means, as the name suggests, this thing can hop better than any other grinder, making it swift and agile. It's key to avoid fighting enemies face to face. Always try to attack the enemies from their blind spots. If you manage to gather enough speed, you can even ram enemies with these claw things in the front. If you have an enemy lined up for a solid ram, resist the urge to attack. They may not know you're coming. Don't fire until the last second, then unload an exact jet. Justice. If this is your first time playing, try a hopper with missile packs on all three hard points. Be sure to split them up between at least two different triggers and try to fight enemies from a medium range. The Gold Rush is another grinder with great ramming potential. See this cow catcher in the front? Well, the Gold Rush happens to have the best forward thrust of all grinders, so line up an enemy and try flying right into them. You really shouldn't play this grinder as a one trick pony though, it does more than just ram enemies. Remember that this cow catcher also acts like tough armor, meaning you can attack at range with the right loadout. Just try not to let the enemy get behind or above you. The catalyst cools down faster than any other grinder. It's kind of slow and has poor boosters, so it often ends up being a defensive support unit. Note that your right arm has extra armor plates, which can be used as a sort of shield if you turn your right side towards the enemy fire. But beware of hoppers and gold rush rams. Since the catalyst has poor mobility, it tends to be a tasty target for body checks. The rook has these huge shoulders and it takes a lot of firepower to break through them. Always try to fight enemies with your shoulders facing them so that they waste all their heat trying to cut through your impressive shoulders. Also note that these bars make it really difficult to track enemies in the sky, so it's usually a good idea to fight a rook while airborne and just aim for the cockpit while avoiding the shoulders. The rook also has the best strafing jets flying left or right, and skilled players can even use their massive shoulders to body check foes. You also get two large weapon slots, which seems amazing but also contribute to heat problems. Don't don't forget that shutting down your mech will remove heat faster than normal and make you invisible on the radar. The Dredge is the largest and heaviest class. They have the most weapon slots, meaning they're beefy and dangerous. When fighting a Dredge, take advantage of its slow movement speed and avoid fighting directly in its line of fire. The Dredge also has this anti-ramming armor, protecting it from grinder impacts. Although it is possible to kill a Dredge with a ram, I often needed to wait until all the armor was melted off before I would even attempt to hit one. It has the largest fuel tank, but also charges very slowly. Any jump you make will likely commit you to battle wherever you land. The drill is a little more advanced than the other grinders, and here's why. It only has one large weapon mount, but it also has a drill, which is actually an incredibly lethal and useful tool. First off, drilling the ground or enemy grinders will replenish your fuel. Using the drill weapon also provides free downward jets that don't use any fuel, meaning you can control your elevation by managing your drill weapon while in the air. Note that the indicator beside your right joystick will also show you your personal elevation from the ground. Like the hopper, you never really want to be taking enemy fire, so do your best to sneak up to the enemy's blind spot and try to fly directly over top of them. If you get the physics just right and land on top of the enemy with the drill, you can essentially one hit kill them. This is particularly effective against larger and slower grinders, like the dredge, but I wouldn't bother trying to drill another drill or even a hopper until you've really begun to master this grinder's movements. To assist with drilling, try the air brake mod. Simply fly over the enemy until until you're just above them, then activate your air brake and trigger your drill. With practice, it's very effective. If you suspect that you are about to be drilled and have no clue where the enemy is coming from, try flying your grinder directly backwards. It may give you a chance to see the drill land where you were and give you ample opportunity to unload all your weapons on it as well. Finally, the overhaul comes with hummingbird drives, which allow you to hover for free without using any fuel. This drive can be toggled on and off and can help in many ways. For example, if you're in free fall, hummingbird drives can help slow your descent close to the ground. And turning on the drive will give you free up thrust, making it easier on your fuel tank if you want to jump up high. Note that you don't really need to be hovering all the time. It kind of makes you a sitting duck and potentially easier to spot. Instead, stay grounded and use your hummingbird drive to escape or relocate when needed. The absorbent coating mod can be useful depending on your loadout. It makes you invisible on the radar when you're stationary or moving really slowly. This pairs well with weapons like hammers. Just find a nice hiding spot and continue 
only launch these death missiles at your enemies. Lastly, the overall has thick armor. If you're getting attacked, make sure to constantly spin around so the enemy is wasting all their heat on all the armor you have. Want to learn about modules? Click here and sub to join my growing channel.